I wanted to, just at the beginning, to a few moments to do a sort of a, almost a wrap-up, go-forward uh, perspective on, on learning. What I've learned is sometimes you do it real-time and sometimes you do it asynchronous, okay? We do not believe, by the way, that the end session of everything should be a graduation. In fact, I hate graduations, okay? Because essentially it says you've done learning. You're never done learning. We continue to learn all the way through. But I do want to give you a couple of perspectives that I think are, are interesting in, in this process. Uh, number one, over the course of the last three days, for some of you a bit longer, we have done something that's not a course. This is not a class. We didn't sign you up to go to a session. We brought you to an environment that had a wealth of resources. Now, some of them were structured resources. Go to the MIT media area, not a course, have an experience, change tires, do a simulator, go to the escape room. Some of them were real sessions in the sense that had that. But many of you chose other things. You went and you bought a book at the ATD bookstore and you went and you read it. You went for a walk around the, the lake, or what's left of the lake, while they build the rest of the stuff up there, and it's gonna be a wonderful addition. And you had a conversation with somebody. I, I actually dropped in on two people who were having to attend meetings by webinar out there, and I just joined their meetings uninvited. You know. <laughs> I didn't even bill them for that, it was, it was, it was wonderful. Um, and along the way, we added things. We added a range of content from chief learning officers. Can you imagine that you are in a room where three of the largest companies in America and in the world, McDonald's, Walmart, Discover, and Walt Disney got up here and said, we are gonna spend hundreds of millions of dollars to help our employees get more comfortable with skills, whether they stay with us or not. It is a tipping point in that sense. It is a tipping point. And we hope that you will be part of that. We played with technology, okay? And uh, I think we have, is our friend from Mobile Coach here? You know, uh, okay, we played with technology. Vincent, we, we built our first ever chatbot for, for a, and I hope many of you had experience with it, but we've got an image of where the chatbot of the future will go to. What if you could answer 20 questions over six days before you came, and it regularly made suggestions for you, including avoided people you didn't like at the last conference along the way? But we're going to explore what that, what that is about. We gave you an opportunity as well to hear some powerful speakers, and those speakers included folks who brought you entertainment. So Telly Leong coming by video from a studio at the Manhattan School of Music talking about storytelling while getting ready but going on to Aladdin next, singing Laura Bush in and doing that over a traditional, you know, additional internet connection. And then we brought to you the music that Catherine shared with you and her brother rapped us out yesterday. And then Mrs. Bush and, and uh, Leslie Odom and Dan Pink and others. But to me, somebody said, well, is it the keynote and then the other stuff? It's not. It's building a system and an archeology. span You've heard the word ecosystem. I like it, but it always feels like I need to use a sanitizer bottle after getting ecosystem. So I'll drop eco. It's about building a culture and an environment of learning, and that's what we've done.